Uh, my lock came already assembled, so I'm going to take it apart and um, show you step one and step two. Actually, just step two. All right. So step two talks about this little piece here, which is part of the lock and the tab. And if you hold it um, in the same direction as the picture and insert, you can see that there are crenellations in there and insert the shaped metal piece so that it's the same way up as that. And then you see in this little piece here that there are there's a cross um, locking mechanism which goes on to the lock here. And what you want to do is put that so that the tab is facing down. Insert the screw. And just do it up slightly tight, just so that the plate can't rotate on its own. That's the end of uh, step two. Step three. You want to make sure that the key is able to rotate from the vertical in an anti-clockwise direction. Um, as long as it can turn the 90 degrees, uh, you'll be fine. As long as it will turn 90 degrees in that direction. Here we are now going for ahead with the uh, main assembly of this uh, catch mechanism. Okay, as you can see these three bolts are already in the plate from the other side and they've got a washer uh, between the plate and the head. Okay. Uh, then we in assemble the claw, which goes in this way and rides against the lock. Then we have the spring, which goes in there like that. This end will be um, held in by the top plate as it goes on. Okay, then we put three washers onto this bolt here, like that. And then we insert the spring slider plate on top of those, followed by another three washers. Thus, then we have the ratchet plate, which goes on in this direction. We want to make sure that that can actually engage with the teeth there. With the mechanism assembled it should look something like that. Next, next step in this uh, procedure is to fit the locking plate cover. Uh, first of all we're going to put a uh, washer on here and here and apply a little bit of lubrication and then we need to put the locking plate cover in place. Now you'll notice that to start with you might need to fiddle around a bit and make sure you tuck the spring in behind the plate so it sits flush thus. Next thing to fit is the plate with the elongated holes in it and as you can see the uh, small tab needs bending upwards and just make sure it comes up so that this long slot is at the bottom and then this is pointing out of the page. Okay, then we fit it onto the lock thus. Yeah, okay, let's see what the issue is here. Uh, hang fire a second. Right, so at the moment this bit here is getting stuck underneath the uh, lock there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of a bend in it 
like that. We'll see if that helps. Get that under there. And there we go. That successfully into underneath the lock. Okay, next we're going to fit some um, nuts and washers. Three lock nuts, three washers, get them on like this. Now the instructions say that they should be tightened up to about five newton meters. Now I personally don't have a um, a torque wrench that will go that low, so I'll just do them up um, hand tight and then slacken two of them off as per the instructions. Before we tighten the nuts, however, uh, we want to make sure that the ratchet mechanism actually works. Okay, in this position, it's in the closed position. And if we go around the back and fit a key, like that. And if we operate it correctly, we just operate it slightly like that, we should be able to open the ratchet like that. And then the spring pushes the key back in position, and then we can take the key out. Okay. And then we just check that the ratchet works by closing that, and then that's still in the lock position. Okay, and then we'll try that once more. Operate the key. You can see this bar here only moves a small, um, a small amount. It's just push, pushing against the spring, which finishes over here, so that you can open the ratchet. It's not supposed to move more than. Uh, a few degrees, that's it. So, take the key out. So, the key's been taken out, and as you push it in, that's the ratchet. So, the mechanism now works, and I'll go ahead and uh, tighten up those bolts. After a bit of fettling with um, these two bolts, tightness. Uh, make sure that the ratchet is still able to move freely as well as um, the key still works properly okay so that opens take the key out there we go and once more just for there we go let me open it all the way there we go back in. And that's it for assembling the lock mechanism.